Oh, I've already shuffled. And we'll be taking a look at the present time. How your person sees you, how you see them. Then we'll talk about why it's happening. Yeah, so... I think I said to remember the top cards, they appear with the bottom cards. Because some people, they miss that part. Um, also, just a side note, just remember the roles can be switched. They see you could actually be you see them, so keep that in mind. So, Scorpio, the um, energy that I'm picking up for a lot of you is that um, there's some new beginning that's trying to happen or needs to happen and um, but it can't happen if um, you or the person you're dealing with um, if they won't cut out certain things but this new beginning is trying to happen but something needs to be stopped, put a stop to. So let's get into the reading and let's take a look at what's going on here. So for the present time coming up towards middle of June or towards the end of June, we got that Page of Cups and it's with the Eight of Wands. Now the Page of Cups is showing in the picture that there's a need to play, dream, have a little fun. Um, sometimes it could mean that you're taking yourself too seriously. You put, there's a poet that said, or there's a quote from a poet um, that once said, the one thing that I've learned over the years is the difference between taking one's work seriously and taking oneself seriously. The first is imperative and the second can be a disaster. So. That's a page of cups. Now it's with this eight of wands. So this eight of wands, it's about a lot of things being up in the air. You could feel frustrated, tired of waiting. This is an indicator that you have to be patient a while longer. You probably have done all that you can do. Now decisions, they have to be made by other people. So when this card appears, nothing seems to be moving ahead, but don't try to force it. And I'm saying this because if you will, or if you think you can force it, it could backfire on you if you try to force it. Sometimes our actions, they're all in the wrists. All you can do is put your best out there and see where it lands. You put your best out there, now you just have to wait. Um, so, Eight of Wands and the Page of Cups. Now when you hear the word page in the tarot, keep in mind that could be a student, someone younger than you, youth, immaturity. And this is for the present time. So basically with these two cards paired together, it's saying that uh, something is, there's something that you want to happen, could be a situation, or it could be Yeah, maybe something's going on where it's just not happening fast enough. Something that you want to do, say, or happen, it's just not happening fast enough. The wands are still up in the air. They're not coming down anytime soon or not fast enough. Um, this could be that you're ready for a committed relationship and it doesn't seem to be forthcoming. It could be something like that. Uh, or you're just ready for a commitment with your person and it's just not happening fast enough. But you got to distract yourself. If necessary. And your person, they may be back to you before you know it, offering you the love you've been hoping for on a silver platter. But you can't rush it. That's what the Eight of Wands is saying. So it's saying, loosen up, let your hair down. Just have some fun, because that's all you can do. Focus on, in, you know, enjoying life and just be a little bit more playful. Be more like a kid. Now, let's take a look at how your person sees you. They see you like the Eight of Swords, and they also see you like 
uh, the Queen of Wands. Now this Eight of Swords, it's about holding yourself back because you're afraid of moving into the future or you're weary of getting hurt by a new situation or it could be for no reason at all. You might want to think through what it is that you're afraid of because the truth of the situations are probably much less frightening than your mind is making it out to be. So if they see you as being stuck in your head about them or the situation or the connection and it's with the Queen of Wands. So the Queen of Wands, it can refer to a woman who has a lot of fire energy, fire energy. Um, when it's not referring to an actual person, it stands for getting a whole lot accomplished. Could be focused on work or career, but it could go either way. But just know the Queen is a very positive, uplifting energy when she stands for an actual person in your life, she's a really good friend who's 100% solidly on your side, even though she could seem a bit self-absorbed. And if you're trying to give birth at this time, this is one of the most positive signs that there can be. So, this Queen of Wands is very confident. This is how they see you. Determined, could be egotistical, gets what she wants, the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands also knows her worth. So they see you stuck in your head about them or this situation or this connection and you're determined. Now what are you determined about? They think you're determined about them. But we'll get more clarity. Maybe you're determined about the situation this connection. That's how they see you. But we'll, we'll clarify it a little more in a minute. So let's take a look at how you see them. Now you see them like the Nine of Swords and the Two of Swords. Nine of Swords is you'll need to guard against any feelings of anxiety. If you're feeling anxious, take a good look at whether or not any of it's under your own power or control and try to lessen it. Or if things people in your life are contributing to this anxiety. And if this is the case, take a good look at that. And see whether or not something in the relationship can be changed to make it more workable for you. There's something about this time period that can cause people to feel like their life should be in some way more or bigger than it is. So try to take comfort and joy in the ordinary things. And just know that's where the beauty really is. So you see them as... Um, having nightmares, anxiety, grief, maybe some depression about this, about something going on in this connection. Um, so it feels like hardship. They're suffering some hardship and it's causing anxiety. Uh, something's going on in this connection that's making them feel this way. Or something going on with you something they're dealing with now it's with the two of swords two of swords it tells you that your partnerships are likely to be going somewhat well whether it's friendship romantic business could be business but you need you may need to consider the depths of your commitment to equality in these and whether or not you're being treated as an equal by your person and if you're not it may be time to bring things back into balance but this will certainly require open communication. Nothing changes without effort. Now this Two of Swords, it's about blocking and avoiding. Um, you can see them as ignoring some things that they need to do, ignoring warning signs, uh, needing to make a difficult choice. So they're blocking something that they need to do. And it's okay, it's causing some nightmares because they know they need to do it, but they're blocking it out. They're avoid they're avoiding dealing with the situation. And instead they rather looks like they rather stress themselves out instead of just dealing with the situation. 
Now, <clears throat> why it's happening? Seven of Cups and Eights of Swords. Seven of Cups is about choices. It indicates confusion and it points to disorganization, having too much going on. There's a need to narrow your focus. You're probably trying to do too much and doing most of it not very well. So it's about choosing a few of the my grade. I'm sorry, choosing a few of the important things that are on your plate and work through these things one by one carefully. You could be starting to feel overwhelmed. Just remember that you can control at least in some areas how much you're trying to take on. Now, this is one of the reasons why it's happening. Someone's got options here. Someone could have a lot of options. Seven is a lot. That's a big number. Too many options. It causes disorganization and confusion. And it looks like it could be causing a problem for this connection. Anxiety. Somebody stuck in their head. Now, the other reason why it's happening is because the Ace of Swords, it can indicate new beginnings as Ace of Swords. Possibly on several levels, sometimes this new beginning can be started by separation of some kind from a relationship, job, situation. Just know that as anxiety producing as such a new beginning can sometimes be, underneath it all is good beneficial energy that's getting you to where you want to go. The Ace calls on us not to be afraid to take a leap if it's in our best interest. So, like I said, some new beginning is trying to happen here. Um, so, let's recap the reading so that we'll get the complete picture. Now, like I said, your person, they see you as... being stuck in your head you don't know if you should stay in the fire or just put one foot in front of the other and and, and bounce and just walk you don't know what to do you're confused but it looks like they think you're very determined you're confident that that the two of you can fix whatever's wrong yeah, and you see them as being stressed out because there is, because they're blocking and avoiding what they need to do. And what they need to do is probably cut out so many options. Maybe they, um, maybe they see a lot of other people. Maybe they, uh... Maybe they date more than you. And they see it's causing a problem. Because you're all confused and just stuck in your head. And, and it looks like they, they're having anxiety about it. Because they're not dealing with it. They, they're, right now they're choosing to avoid and block the problem so the eight of wands is saying that a new beginning is trying to happen for the two of you but it's not happening fast enough with the ace of swords a new beginning wants to happen but it's not happening fast enough with the eight of wands here things are just up in the air it's because your person is is choosing to avoid and block what they need to do. Cut out so many options. So it looks like you, Scorpio, you're just ready to, or you feel like you just you want to play, dream, and have fun. You wanna, you're tired of the stress and anxiety and the being stuck in your head. You're just hoping that. Um, things turn around soon this new beginning you're hoping that it comes soon because you're tired of being stuck in your head you just want to play dream and have fun 
could be with or without your person, but it's showing a need, a real need to, to let your hair down and loosen up and have fun with the Page of Cups here. Yeah, because some new beginning, it can't happen if, if your person is just not dealing with the situation. Too many options make, make anybody crazy. You get disorganized, you get, um, you get overwhelmed. So they've got anxiety and you're stuck in your head and things just aren't moving fast enough. But a new beginning, it can happen, it's trying to happen. But they have to do their part. So, Scorpio, that's what I got for you. I hope this resonates with some, some of you. And as you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? I'll also put a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. Scorpios, thank you so very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please come back and join me for the next Scorpio reading, which will be in about another four or five days, just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. I hope that June is a beautiful month for you guys, and I hope that you guys are doing well. I hope you have a great day. And I can never say it enough. Thank you so very much for watching. And I hope to see you at the next reading.